I'm very proud to be a ninth generation Canadian. My roots go back very deep in Montreal because my ancestor Pierre Desautel came with uh, the Maisonneuve uh, in 1653 and was part of the group of a hundred or so pioneers that actually founded Montreal. It was quite naturally when I formed the foundation that uh, I wanted to work with McGill University, which is, I think, a real treasure and contributes a lot to the province and to the city. My great-grandfathers on both sides of the family homesteaded in Manitoba. I was raised with equal parts of discipline and humor. My father was a policeman, and policemen weren't paid very much in those days, so he couldn't help me much to go to university. I had to work two or three jobs. I had to work every summer, that was for sure. As a matter of fact, I've got three university degrees from uh, St. Boniface University, which was a college in those days in the University of Manitoba. And uh, uh, I've never been able to attend my own graduation because I had to go to work to start earning money to pay for the next year's tuition. That may be one of the reasons why I'm so motivated to give to chairs and scholarships to help students so that they can concentrate on their studies. When I arrived at McGill in 2005, the building was already 33 years old and it really needed fixing. We had to redo the whole building. By adding 49,000 square feet of space in the Armstrong building, we've been able to alleviate the crowding by moving the MBA students particularly into that building. I thought that through business that I could train young people with the hope, quite frankly, that they might become big donors in the future. I get letters all the time from graduate students and every now and then I get one that says, when I get a chance, I'm gonna give back. And I always put those on the boardroom table because uh, that's the gift that keeps on giving and that motivates me very much. <laughs>